Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch where today we're taking a look at Andreas Sheldrup, uh, a fantastic looking young player. Norwegian, 17 years old, currently at Norseland. Before we jump into it though, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and of course comment down below any players you want to see in upcoming episodes. So originally from Boda Glimt, he has moved to Norseland and is of course a very, very good looking player. Two under 21 appearances already for Norway at the age of 17, so looking very promising. A left winger by trade, uh, but can naturally come in a little bit more central if needed let's take a look at his attributes so how will he look to develop so 120 current ability is very very good for a 17 year old 146 potential isn't as high as i'd have thought um for that high current ability he's still a little way off um being one of the top top attackers but still looks a very good player if he reaches that potential and he's got plenty of time to do so so let's jump ahead and take a look how he gets on and here we are, 10 years on, 27 years old now, not made a first team appearance for Norway, has made a lot more under-21 appearances though, making 26 under-21 appearances with one goal as well. Um, not much development though, really, which is a little disappointing overall. Uh, let's take a look at his history and his career stats. Um, he did make a big move to um, the, the Giants of Ajax in Holland, £2.2 .2 million. Pounds. So a very, very good bargain by the by the general standards of his performances because if you look ahead you can see he's done very well for Jong Ajax and then even the few games he played for Ajax's first team he did very very well in and that's that's probably why it's a little surprising to see that he did move on a free to Breda um there he again played for them in both the first division and second division when he they got relegated performing very well in the second division as we saw he had done with Jong Ajax um and recently played for Her 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 <laughs> I can't say that Her Heracles Almeo, Almeo. Let me know in the comments how to actually pronounce that phonetically because I can't pronounce that and I I feel awful for do, not being able to. But he's performed a lot better in the Eredivisie, that's for sure. Let's take a look at his milestones though. Competitions wise, we can see he did get champions of football. I mean, he got relegated from the first division in in Denmark. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. But he did end up winning the Eredivisie with. The Ajax team, as well as Jong Ajax, he won the Kuchen Campion Divise, so the second division in Holland. So he did win a few things, um, especially ones that he actually contributed to, which is quite nice. Uh, got relegated from the Eredivisie with Breda, but then also got promoted by being champions of the second division. So he's won that a few times. So second division in Holland seems to be his general positioning. Um, let's take a look at his awards. Uh, anything big? He got Supporters Player of the Year uh, and Superliga Spring Player of the Year as well for Norseland when he was there. Uh, along with that, it's just a bunch of Team of the Weeks um, along with seasonal best 11s as we'd always expect from these players. Um, so nothing spectacular. Let's take a look at his attributes though. See if he did manage to get there. Unfortunately, he has declined in ability. Um, I don't know if that's maybe because of the possible injuries he's had. Um, and it does look like he's had a lot of injuries. Sprained knee ligaments, broken legs. Um throughout his t career especially more recently over the last three years so maybe that's what's um, kind of hindered him especially in that broken lower leg which where he was out for six months so that's that's probably a bit of a shame for him to be honest um if you get lucky he'd probably become a much much better player in the long term um his physicals definitely took a hit because of that but there you go we will leave it there make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel of course leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes and i'll catch you in the next one